In this video, I am explaining Sprint's cell phone plans. I'll talk about what the differences are between each of the plans and which one I think you should sign up for. Sprint offers two different types of plans to choose from. They have postpaid plans, where you can pay for your service either in the middle of the month or after the month is over, and they offer a prepaid plan, which is where you pay for your service up front. Let's start by comparing the different postpaid plans. As you can see, Sprint has different options here. $60 a month is what they call Sprint Unlimited Basic. For $70 per month, you get Sprint Unlimited Plus, and for $80 per month, you get Sprint Unlimited Premium. Now, these plans are listed with the $5 auto pay discount enabled, which is how Sprint presents the plans on their own website. And as I found out, there are a few other discounts available. If you bring your own device to the Sprint network, you will save $10 per month. And if you're activating a business line, you can save $5 per month with the Sprint Works discount. All of Sprint's postpaid plans include 50 gigs of priority data, which is really nice, with the main differences being in the amount of included hotspot data and the different features and perks available with each of the plans. So let's take a moment to dive into what these differences are. Sprint Unlimited Basic is their most affordable plan coming in at $60 per month. It includes 50 gigs of priority data, 500 megabytes of mobile hotspot data, up to 480p video streaming, you get 5 gigs of high-speed data while roaming in Mexico and Canada, and it includes global roaming, which is where you get free texting and unlimited 2G data while traveling abroad to over 200 countries. Unlimited Basic also includes a Hulu membership for free. Sprint Unlimited Plus is their mid-tier plan coming in at $70 per month. It includes the same 50 gigs of priority data, but it increases the hotspot data to a whopping 50 gigabytes. You can now stream videos at up to 1080p, and the Mexico and Canada data is doubled to 10 gigabytes. The global roaming and Hulu membership remains the same, but now you get an added membership to Tidal. Sprint Unlimited Premium is, as you would expect, their most premium plan available. It is also the most expensive at $80 per month. You get the same 50 gigs of priority data as you did with the other plans, but you now get an amazing 100 gigabytes of mobile hotspot data. You can also now stream video at up to 4K resolution, and you get unlimited high-speed data while roaming in Mexico and Canada. Unlimited Premium keeps the same benefits as before, including global roaming, a Hulu membership, and a Tidal membership, and it adds on an Amazon Prime membership and Lookout Premium Plus. And while we're comparing plans here, we might as well talk about Sprint's prepaid plan, which is their unlimited kickstart plan. This is only $35 per month, and you can get it for as low as $25 per month if you sign up at Best Buy. Unfortunately, data speeds are deprioritized, which means when the network is busy, your data speeds will be slower than other plans on the Sprint network. There is no support for the mobile hotspot here, and video streaming is capped at 480p. There is also no high-speed data while roaming in Mexico and Canada. You will only have access to unlimited 2G data. Thankfully though, this plan does include global roaming. Now comparing the plans side by side, and one thing I want to point out is all Sprint plans include access to their 5G network. This is pretty amazing because it means their Kickstart plan, which is only $35 per month, is one of the most affordable plans to include 5G access at this time. Now, which plan should you sign up for? Well, if you need hotspot data, I recommend Sprint Unlimited Plus. I think this plan delivers a great balance between value and features. You get 50 gigs of hotspot data, and it is only $70 per month. This is the plan I'm actually signed up for. If you need more hotspot data, or if you're an Amazon Prime member, then the unlimited premium plan can make sense, but honestly, I do think it is more expensive, and most people probably won't need the 100 gigs of hotspot data. In fact, if you don't need hotspot data, then I recommend Sprint Unlimited Kickstart. At $35 per month, it's under half the price of Plus and Premium, and compared with Sprint Unlimited Basic, it will still save you $300 per year. Now, if you are looking for discounts and value, Sprint's family plans are definitely the way to go. They offer huge savings across their plans when you add more lines to your account. With four lines, you're looking at $25 for Basic, $35 for Plus, $45 for Premium, and unfortunately, there are no group discounts available with Sprint Kickstart, so that stays at the $35 per month price point, and if you do have multiple lines, the Kickstart plan is absolutely not worth it at all. You're going to want to jump to one of the postpaid plans. One thing to note about these prices 
is on Sprint's website, they do say they have promotional pricing going on from now through September 30th, 2020. So after September 30th, you can expect these rates to go up by about $10 per line. Until then though, these are honestly a great deal and a great value. If you don't need hotspot data, Sprint Unlimited Basic becomes the best option at $25 per person. But if you do need hotspot data, the Sprint Unlimited Plus plan still remains my favorite option here. Now, some of you may be tempted by Sprint Premium because of that included Amazon Prime membership, but Sprint Plus actually still remains the better value here. Amazon Prime is $10 per month when you get the annual subscription, and the premium plan with four lines comes out to $180 total. Sprint Plus, on the other hand, is only $140 per month total, and if we tack on that Prime membership, it comes out to $150 per month. This saves you $360 per year, and essentially gets you the same plan, minus the extra 50 gigs of hotspot data. So that is why the basic and plus plans are my favorite options if you have multiple lines on Sprint. As you noticed, all Sprint plans included Sprint Global Roaming, which I quickly want to explain for you now. Sprint Global Roaming basically allows you to stay connected and get coverage in over 200 countries while you're traveling abroad. It includes free unlimited texting, free unlimited data at 2G speeds, and if you'd like to place a phone call, it's at 25 cents per minute. Now the 2G data is pretty slow, so you may consider adding a high-speed data pass. In Canada and Mexico, you can get a high-speed data pass for $2 per day or $10 per week. In most locations, it's $5 per day or $25 per week. And in some locations, it's $10 per day or $50 per week. Sprint does a great job outlining these locations on their website. Now you may be wondering, what about the Sprint T-Mobile merger? What does that mean for Sprint's plans? Great question. What's happening is Sprint's network is merging with T-Mobile's network for improved coverage and performance. This combined network will better compete against AT&T and Verizon, which already have robust networks across the United States. The new carrier will inherit all T-Mobile and Sprint customers and will adopt the T-Mobile brand name. You may also see it referred to as the new T-Mobile. In terms of plan prices, Sprint and T-Mobile have resolved to keep prices the same or better for at least the next three years, which is great because this means you could sign up for Sprint, take advantage of the available discounts for Sprint's plans, and then, in my opinion, get a better value than T-Mobile's plans while still getting the same coverage on the new network. You see, Sprint's plans include significantly more hotspot data than T-Mobile's plans. You get 50 gigs of hotspot data on Sprint Plus compared with only 3 gigs on T-Mobile Magenta, bumping up to the premium plans, and you get 100 gigs on Sprint Premium compared with only 20 gigs on T-Mobile Magenta Plus. So that's why if you are in an area with good Sprint coverage, you may consider signing up now, getting locked into these better rates with the discounts, and then enjoying awesome coverage when the networks merge together. Still, Sprint's plans can be expensive for some, and if you're looking for more affordable options, I highly recommend you check out Tello. They use Sprint for coverage, and with plans starting at $7 per month for 1 gig of data, $11 for 2 gigs, $16 for 4 gigs, and $26 for 8 gigs, they are great for lighter data users or anyone else looking for a great value on cell service. Of course, you can compare even more of the best cell phone plans that use Sprint for coverage on my website, bestphoneplans.net. Please click the like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more videos like this one.